Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up guys, uh, Cloud is back again, this time I am going to listen to the Oscars monologue by Chris Rock. Um, I am interested in this uh, because of the whole controversy surrounding the Oscars and that they don't have any black uh, nominees for like the bigger categories and stuff like that. Um, the Oscars is like the biggest, I guess, achievement. It's like the biggest uh, thing you can get uh, as a filmmaker or an actor or a, a score setter or whatever you are that involves movies. This is it. For this year's Oscars, they have Chris Rock um, as the host, which has been a bit controversial because they don't have like any black uh, nominees or whatever uh, for the bigger categories as I said and a lot of people have taken this uh, as far as as uh, actual boycott and don't go to the Oscars like Will Smith I think his wife did a video on it and a lot of people have been debating whether it's right or wrong and from what I understand, he gave a really good uh, opening speech at the Oscars this year. I myself didn't watch the Oscars because um, because it, it airs kind of weird and it's like in the middle of the night here and the time difference and everything. I'm like, fuck it, I, I'm not gonna watch it. So yeah, but anyway, uh, apparently the, the opening monologue, monologue was really good. And uh, we're going to have a listen and see what he has to say about this. Because, you know, Chris Rock, he doesn't really give a fuck. He just, you know, he goes with it and uh, hopefully it's interesting. Let's let's hear him out. Let's see what he had to say. All right. Uh, okay. You see? <laughs> well, I'm here at the Academy Awards, uh, uh, otherwise known as the uh, White People's Choice Awards. Uh, you realize if they nominated hosts, I wouldn't even get this job. <laughs> so y'all be watching Neil Patrick Harris right now. <laughs> but here's the crazy thing: this, this is this is the wildest, craziest Oscars to ever host because we got all this. This controversy, the no, yeah. no black yeah. nominees, you know? And people are like, Chris, you should boycott. Chris, you should quit. You should quit. Mm -hmm. you know, how, how come there's only unemployed people to tell you to quit something, you know? <laughs> you know? All right. <laughs> no one with a job ever tells you to quit. So I, I thought about quitting. I thought about it real hard. But mm. I realized they're going to have the Oscars anyway. They're yeah. going to cancel the Oscars because I quit. You know, and the last thing I need is to lose another job to Kevin Hart, okay? <laughs> I don't need that. That was funny. Kev, Kev right there. Kev make movies fast. <laughs> Every month. Porno stars don't make movies that fast. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, why are we protesting? That's the, the big question. Why this Oscars? Why this Oscars? You know, mm. it's the 88th Academy Awards. It's the 88th Academy Awards, which means this whole no black nominee thing has happened at least 71 other times. Okay? You gotta figure that it happened in the 50s, in the 60s. You know, you know in the 60s, one of those years, Sydney didn't put out a movie. I'm sure, I'm sure there were no black nominees some of those years, say 62 yeah. or 63. And Perhaps. black people did not protest. Why? Because we had real things to protest at the time. You know? Man. We had real things to protest. You know, it's too busy being raped and lynched to care about who won best cinematographer. <laughs> you know, when, it, when your grandmother's swinging from a tree, it's really hard to care about best documentary foreign short. 
He has a point. What happened? People went mad. Well, Spike got mad, and Shelton got mad, and Jada went mad, and Will went mad. Everybody went mad. You know, it's quite like Jada got mad. Jada said she's not coming. Yeah. I'm like, is she on a TV show? Jada's going to boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Wow. Oh, that's not an invitation I would turn down. Uh, but I understand, I'm, you know, I'm not hating. I understand you're mad. Jay's mad, her man, Will, was not nominated for concussion. I get it, I get it. Tell the truth, I get it. I get it. You get mad, she said, it's, it's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated. Yeah, you're right. It's also not fair that Will was paid 20 million for Wild Wild West, okay? <laughs> okay. Things, you know, look. You know, this year at Oscars, things are going to be a little different. This thing, things are going to be a little different at the Oscars. This year, in the In Memoriam package, it's just going to be black people that were shot by the cops on their way to the movies. My God. <laughs> He's making people really uncomfortable. Yes, I said it, all right? Yeah. If you want black nominees every year... <laughs> You need to just have black categories. That's what you need. Really? You need to have black categories. What the fuck's a black category? Think about it. There's no real reason for there to be a man in a woman category in acting. It's track. It's not. Come on. There's no reason. It's not track and field. <laughs> you, you don't have to separate them. You know, Robert De Niro's never said, I better slow this acting down so Meryl Streep could catch up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all, man. If you want black people every year at the Oscars, just have black categories like best black friend. <laughs> That's right. And the winner for the 18th year in a row is Wanda Sykes. <laughs> this is Wanda's 18th black Oscar. But here's the real question. The real question everybody wants to know, everybody wants to know in the world, is this Hollywood racist? Is Hollywood racist? Is it though? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a, you know, you gotta go at that the right way. Is it, is it Burning Cross racist? No. Is it Fetching some Lemonade racist? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a different type of racist. Now, I remember one night I was at a fundraiser for President Obama. A lot of you were there. And, you know, it's me and all of Hollywood. And all the, black, you know, it's all of us there. And there's about four black people there. Me, um, let's see, uh, Quincy Jones, Russell Simmons, Questlove. You know, the usual suspects, right? <laughs> you know? And, you know, and every black actor that wasn't working. Needless to say, Kev Hart was not there, okay? <laughs> so at some point, you get to take a picture with the president. You know, and as they're setting up the picture, you get like a little moment with the president. I'm like, Mr. President, you see all these writers and producers and actors, they don't hire black people. And they're the nicest white people on earth. They're liberals. Cheese. That's right. Is Hollywood racist? You're damn right Hollywood's racist, but it ain't the racist you th that you've grown accustomed to. Hollywood is sorority racist. All right. So we like you, Rhonda, but you're not a kappa. <laughs> That's how Hollywood is, yeah? But things are changing. Things are changing. Yeah, we got a Black Rocky this year. Yeah, some people call it Creed. I call it Black Rocky. <laughs> that's, a big, that's, a, that's an unbelievable statement. I mean, because Rocky takes place in a world where white athletes are as good as black athletes. So Rocky's a science fiction movie. <laughs> There's things that happen in Star Wars that are more believable than this is happening in Rocky. Okay? <laughs> right, we're here to honor actors. We're here to honor actors. We're here to honor film. You know, it's, and there's a lot of snubs, a lot of snubs. But one of the biggest snubs no one's talking about. My favorite actor in the world is Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. I, I don't know who that is. Is the greatest actor in the world. Think about what Paul Giamatti has done the last couple of years. Last year, he's in 12 Years a Slave, hates black people. This year he's in Straight Outta Compton, loves black people. <laughs> Last year he's whooping oh. on Peter, 
this year he's crying at Easy E's funeral. Now that's range. <laughs> What kind of anything? It's just we want opportunity. We want the black actors to get the same opportunities. And white actors, that's it. I don't understand that. You know, just you know, not just once. You know, Leo gets a great part every year, and and you know, and, you know, everybody in a group of like you, know, all you guys get great parts all the time. But what about the black actors? Look at Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, one of the best actors in the world, man. Jamie Foxx, shit. Yeah. Jamie Foxx was so good in Ray that they went to the hospital and unplugged the real Ray Charles. <laughs> it's like, we don't need two of these. <laughs> nah, man. But the big thing, you know, is that it's, everything's not about race, man. Another big thing tonight is you're not allowed, somebody told me this, you're not allowed to ask women what they're wearing anymore. It's the whole thing, you know. Ask really? Her more. You have to ask her more. Uh, what? No. You know, it's like, you ask the men more, everything's not sexism, everything's not racism. Hmm. They ask the men more because the men are all wearing the same outfits, okay? Every guy in the same thing. You know, if George Clooney showed up with a lime green tux on and a swan coming out his ass, somebody <laughs> would go, what you wearing, George? <laughs> All right, guys. Thoughts? Yeah. Uh, interesting speech um, or monologue on this this year's Oscars. Uh, I, you know what I don't really understand is that we want the same opportunities. That's what he said. Who the fuck is we? He's talking about black people. Uh, all right. So no black nominees in the bigger category. That, that was the deal. I, I, I'm not sure I saw uh, Asian or Latinos or any... I mean, I don't know. Is this a black and white thing only? Or is it just racism towards black people? That is what I don't understand. And I would love you... I would love you if you help me with that in the comment section below. Because um, where I'm from... Sweden, by the way... Uh, we don't we don't see the we don't view people um, like Americans do, I guess. Uh, America has like a bigger uh, diversity of people, I think. Like uh, they migrated there for a, lo a long time ago, and uh, migration to Sweden is fairly new. But it's not like whites and blacks. I know that. Um, the, the history behind blacks being in America is very different from uh, uh, my black friend that I have here in Sweden, right? Uh, it's not it's not under the same, uh, you know, he, he wasn't brought here or he has his ancestors weren't brought here as slaves and that, 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 that type deal. But, but the whole thing about about having the same opportunities are, are they not allowed to have the same opportunities in Hollywood, the black actors? Because in, in that case, that applies to the Latino actors and the the, the Asian or the... Uh, you know you know what I mean? Uh, is he talking strictly about black people or, or, or like... Uh, I don't know. It was a bit weird. Uh, to me, it's weird because I'm not I'm not used to that uh, where I live. Uh, we have different issues here, but anyway, interesting. Um, he's funny as always. I think he's. I really like uh, Chris Rock. I think he was the man for the job. Uh, this was really good. So that's that's cool. Also, um, I was thinking. Uh, maybe this year didn't have movies with enough good black actors in them as leads perhaps he mentioned concussion with will smith maybe that was the only one 
and maybe that wasn't I haven't seen it so I can't I can't say maybe it wasn't good enough is that a, is that a, a reason for them not being nominated I don't know I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out because I, I don't really understand and from what I understand in the US far more white people live there than black people so maybe that's why they're not represented in the in the uh, in the in the Hollywood community but on the other hand I think black people dominate all major sports in the US so is that being are they discriminating white people like in the NFL NBA stuff like that I, I don't know it's so weird uh, is it racism? I'm I'm really not sure. I would like I would like you to, to leave a comment down below and let, letting me know what's up because it's uh, it's very different. Um, it's a very different take on how, how how you view this depending on where you live in the world. And since the internet, the power of the, of the internet allows us to uh, to talk to each other, being from different places, it's it's very interesting what people think about this. Um, anyway, on a side note, Leo got his Oscar, uh, Alicia Vikander uh, got an Oscar as well. That girl is in, I think, was the best support, supporting actress in The Danish Girl. I did a reaction to, to, that, um, to that video, uh, I'm gonna leave it down below. Uh, and I actually mentioned, she's from here, she's from the city I live in. Alicia Vikander. Uh, so that's cool. A local won, a, won an Oscar. That, that's not a that's not a common thing for any Swede to win an Oscar. Believe that. So yeah. Anyway, uh, this was interesting. Very funny at times, but it gets me wondering about the, the the race issue and all that stuff. So if you can clear it up for me, I know it's complicated. If you have any insight, any input without being um, um, racist, of course, uh, or condescending towards each other in the comment section. I would appreciate uh, if, if you left your thoughts there and to, just to let me know what's up. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, uh, thank you for lis uh, listening, uh, for, for sticking around, for, for enjoying this uh, monologue with me. Um, Leave a like if, if, if you like what you've seen. Uh, subscribe, that'd be even cooler if you did that. Uh, and as always, I see you in the next one.